everyone, it's me, Maya, and welcome back to Wounded by Words. Oh boy, <laughs> I totally forgot <laughs> that we left off right here, where they were all given that face. Okay, let's continue. Everyone looked at each other, jaded. <laughs> it was clear as Crystal that Dave was the kind of person who tended to be rather tactless. Oh boy. There was a long pause in the conversation. Nobody wanted to talk anymore, and even Dave felt that there was something awkward in the air and a void going on. Yeah. The thick silence went on for a while, no nobody knowing how to start the conversation again. <clears throat> After what felt like an eternity, a stomach growled. It was... Hastens. Come to think of it, I'm starting to get a bit hungry too. Now, could be a good time to have a meal. Yes, indeed, it's always a good time to have a meal. Sergeant. Meal of air? Delicious, but not very nourishing. Aw. I have six biscuits on me. Let's share them along with the water. Sure, that's, that's nice. Why do you have biscuits in your pocketbook? Mm. I'd advise... Wait, who's Agatha? Oh, fudge. I totally forgot their names. Uh... I'm gonna guess it's this lady that was talking before. I'd advise you to cut them in half. So that we can have another meal later. We don't have much to eat, so let's impose rationing. Ooh, wait, that's barely anything. And so went our humble meal. Each one of us got a half a biscuit and a portion of water. That ain't even half a biscuit. That's like one little torn off piece of a biscuit. Not enough to soothe my appetite, sadly. Well, yeah. Well, since the rescue team still isn't here, I guess we'll be sleeping in this charming place. Too bad we don't have some kind of blanket. Bah! Sleeping directly on the floor is not suit for my age. If only I had known, I would have taken my coat. Aww. Would someone be kind enough to help me when the movement comes? I don't want to sleep in my wheelchair. It's not comfy enough for that. No problem. Oh, never mind. It was her. Never mind. That's Agatha. Sleeping on the floor. It here? It's graceful. I don't want to. Oh, fudge. I forgot his name. I mean, forgot his voice. Oh, God. It was a douchey voice. I know that. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I think that was what it was. None of us like the idea either, you know. Yeah. I love that face that Gabrielle is doing. Dave is such a crybaby. If you want, I can sing you a lullaby. Dang, that old woman, she's... Ooh, she's so sarcastic. No thanks. No, no. No thanks. Ugh. She's just gonna have that voice now. What, whatever. Dude, party dude. That's what his, okay, that's what his voice says. I'm really trying to remember it, but I think that's what it was like. It wasn't time to sleep yet, so we had some free time to spend. We were joking about the fact that the rescue team would probably wake us up in the middle of the night. Deep down, I was sure everyone wished that would be the case. Soon enough, conversations died down. I couldn't stay on my own doing nothing. I had to speak to someone to help me forget. Um, pass some time with. Ugh, not Dave. Alicia and Hayes. Aline and Gabriel. Ugh. I like Aline and Gabriel better, but Alicia has a son, and I bet you he'd feel kind of bad and everything because he's like terrified. Um, and Dave's not even in the question, um, mm, well, she knows Alicia, so we'll pick Alicia. 
I decided to join Alicia and Hasten, who were sitting in a corner. I wanted to know more about them. The child was quietly playing with his mother's hair while lying on her lap. The scene was both weird and cute. As he was gazing at the, the hair, I noticed something on his arm, hidden by his t-shirt. It was some sort of bracelet. What's that? A bracelet? Alicia looked down in embarrassment. Yes, actually, my phone number and address are on it. A safety measure for when he runs away. He tends to do it a lot. What do you mean? He sometimes run off without saying anything? Yes, Hayson is actually very sensitive. Whenever there is noise, too many people, or overly strong stimuli, he gets nervous, and when he can't handle it anymore, he runs away. He does it a lot with his school teacher. She can't stand treating him differently from the others, so she forces him to do stuff against his will. I tried to explain to her, but she wouldn't listen to me. She told me I was a bad mother for not teaching my child how to properly behave. But she doesn't understand how Hasten is. He's not disobeying because he wants to annoy her. He does so because she's asking too much of him. Last time there was a school trip, they went to an exposition in the middle of the city. The bus. The other children were laughing loudly. There's a lot of traffic. I knew it would happen. I tried to make her promise she would try to be careful with him. It was all in vain. We searched for him for hours. So I gave him this bracelet to be sure that if someone picked him up, they would know how to contact me. Poor Hassan, and yet he doesn't seem that difficult to live with. He's not when you know how he works, but most people won't spend the effort to try to understand. At least you seem to be there for him. I wish I could be. But I'm working too much for that. I have many part-time jobs to try to make ends meet. I barely see him. You know, it's unfair. Many unemployed persons have too much time on their hands, but no money to do anything. So they pace up and down like caged lions. But on the other hand, rich people are way too busy to spend their money too often either. If only we could split up the work in two, it'd be it'd make me it'd make much happier people. The jobless would have more work and office workers would spend more time with their family. Dang, she is so truthful. This girl needs the award for the best speech ever. I guess I sh shouldn't dream, should I? Right? Fudge, why did I say that? Don't say that. You may not have noticed yet, but I'm of the pessimistic kind. I've been through so many things in my life, I don't believe in anything anymore. The only thing I'm sure of is that nothing I'll do will ever matter. Unprivileged people don't have the luxury of choosing the life they want. I didn't know what to say, and simply put a comfort comforting hand on her shoulder. After this conversation, we decided it was time to rest. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, I just ate some bacon a couple of minutes ago. Even though it's already 12 o'clock. I woke up at 9. I didn't feel like getting up out of my bed. So I just stayed in here, played video games, watched YouTube videos until I finally thought of getting breakfast. <laughs> After a while, everyone went their own separate ways to find the least uncomfortable corners of the room and laid down on the ground. Down on the ground! Down on the ground! This is the police! I glanced at them regularly and saw many people turning around every which way in hopes of finding some sleep. I wasn't very optimistic. I knew that as soon as I closed my eyes, 
the screams would return, the sparks. I didn't want to see them again. I knew what would await. Another sleepless night, another in a long series. At least I wouldn't stand out of the crowd tomorrow morning. No one would, nobody would know. Almost despite myself, I felt weariness filling me from the inside. I blinked, slower and slower. Ooh, pretty. On the other side, there was darkness and fire. I saw the sand again, those dunes. I felt the blazing sun, the heavy air, the smell of putrefaction, whatever, how you say that. My mind was uncontrollably attracted to this place. I tried to resist, but it was useless. I had been cursed, cursed with memory. I was in the middle of the desert, lost, powerless, as the scene passed before my eyes once again. No! I woke from my dream with a start. It was the middle of the night, yet the scenery hadn't changed one bit. I was almost staring. Everyone else seemed to be sleeping. I envied their peaceful dreams. I wish I could be one of them. Slowly, carefully, I stood up and went to the bathroom. I had to relieve myself. Yeah, getting a nice pee, that really relieves you at night, so, hmm. Feels so nice. This place is really depressing. I feel almost at home. Oh, I don't want to see any of this now. You can, uh, yeah. <sighs> As I rose from the toilet, I suddenly felt another presence, even though I hadn't heard anyone enter after me. Then, there was a strange sound. I approached the door handle suspiciously to see what the commotion was, but I got out of the stall. I was locked in. At that point, I'd rather be locked in because whatever's outside is probably way worse than what's right there. Alone in the narrow place. I felt my heart beating faster and faster. I hated this feeling. It was the same as back then. The same despair in the face of death. Nah. Hold on. I, have, I still have a piece of chicken. In my mouth. Okay, there you go. Please. No. Not that. Let me out. I don't want to be here. I was like a rat caught in a trap. Out for the love of God! I hate narrow places. Might be taken as a joke. Um, I hammered on the door as forcefully as I could. It was no use. I had to find a way out quickly. My hands were shaking. If I didn't get out soon, I'd have a panic attack, and everyone would notice. I couldn't let them see me in this pitiful state. I had to find a way. Um, let's see. I tried hammering on the door again, but it wouldn't open. Okay, down here then. I tried kicking the lower part of the door, but it didn't budge. Let's try on the door handle. I tried to turn the door handle again, but it was firmly locked and wouldn't budge. Okay, now let's try the lock. I tried kicking the lock with all my strength. The door went flying off the hinges with a loud bang. Wide open. At last, I rushed toward the mirror. This place looks more beat up than Okay. Whatever. Um. She has some strong freaking legs, man. I'd never be able to do that. Yeah, I've noticed this since the first one, but why is there one, one stall that doesn't have a window and then the other one has a window? Because that's just freaky, man. I took some time to breathe, gripping the sides of the washstand. I couldn't quite comprehend what had happened. Why I'd seemingly trapped myself. Nothing felt real. Am I imagining things? I was scared. Scared of myself. Scared that others would see me. Scared of going back to that place. I didn't want to be buried under the corpses of my companions again. To 
see their distorted faces, to hear them cursing me again. I knew I overreacted. I knew I shouldn't have. But deep down, I couldn't the insidious fear from eating me alive. I didn't want to relive this moment again, but the sensation of being trapped was ever-present in this place. Everything here could trigger a panic attack. Oh, so looking in the mirror, washing your hands, you know, sleeping. Well, that can't handle us. Yeah. Dang, girl, you got some problems. Okay. Narrow places. The sensation of being trapped. Unable to move. The heavy air. The ruins. I had been on edge for several hours and tried my best not to show it. To forget it. But now that I was alone, everything was coming back again. It had to stop. Oh, right. I had almost forgotten. The doctor I saw earlier today had been checking how my new treatment was going. I wasn't used to it yet. Dang, those are some small little pills. You probably have to take like five of those. Dang. He prescribed me an antidepressant. I had to take it every day, starting with 50 G, and then report to him if the dose was enough. 50 grams, goodness gracious. I mean, it's pretty. Dang. It had been several days now since the beginning of my medical treatment. My memory was a mess. Had I even taken my daily dose yesterday? Doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it, son. That's probably why you're all like. Confuzzled and everything. Either that's because of the medicine. If that medicine was so good that it made you feel, woo, then dang, girl, give me some. Oh, just kick. Uh, I searched through my pocket, pulled out my pack of pills, and gulped one without thinking before going back to my imaginary bed. Gosh, that was... I'm trying to wrap up with my blanket. Jeez, it's kind of small though. And sure enough, I had a terrible night. The floor was cold and hard, so I practically broke her backs. Next morning, all her bodies were sore. But even if I was at home, I still wouldn't have felt safe. Sure, the mattress would have been more comfortable. That would be it. Because I dreamt of that place again, I heard the rifles, the explosions, and immediately, I woke up. Soon after, Wariness invaded my mind, and I fell asleep. Returning there again. Waking up again. It was always the same. After several cycles, I didn't know if I was awake, or just dreaming that I was awake. Everything felt the same. Like a never-ending parade. <sighs> Memories lined up, marching in my head, one after the other. My sobs, my fear, my uneasiness, I couldn't escape them. <clears throat> that was why I didn't realize what happened later. Well, what happened later then? A strange sound woke me up. When I opened my eyes, I found a sign on the ground, and the light at the end of the hallway dazzled me. Ooh, blinking light, yeah. <clears throat> Just don't go into the light and you'll be there was a persistent buzzing sound coming from my pocket. Most likely my cell phone. XXX is calling. Dot dot dot. Plus 336. XXXXXXXXX. I made it sound bad. Um, and then they have the little ringer and the little ready thingy that says, No, I don't want to answer your call. Then. I remember that my cell phone couldn't be ringing, as it had ran out of battery a while ago. How can I re be receiving a phone call now? What? I stared at the screen, dumbfounded. The name that had appeared was that of someone I knew. But it couldn't be right. It couldn't be him. How was that possible? A close friend that I liked very much. And he died months ago when he put his foot on a landmine. The person who was calling me was dead. It couldn't be him. Surely, 
someone had borrowed his cell phone somehow. It had to be a mistake. Well, after all the crazy things that happened, I didn't really, I mean, count out that a person who's already dead was calling you. I mean, come on now. You took those good pills. Probably making you hallucinate. I decided to pick up the phone nonetheless and brought it to my ears anxiously. You're being too loud! Gosh, you snore like a freaking pig! Gosh, and I've been waiting for you to answer this call. Yeah, that's how you'd be like. You can't. Can't. Escape. I. I. Come after. You. Gee, zombies have a really bad problem. Their hearing must be way up. <sighs> then there was only unearthly noises left on the other end of the phone. Unusual sound. Like if someone had really called me from hell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scared, I cringed and dropped the phone. With crashed on the floor, I couldn't help but let out a small cry. That's a small cry. I heard someone grumble behind me. I must have woken one of the other trapped people. That's a weird way of... <laughs> Sorry, I had a nightmare. Dave turned around and walked away. I saw some of the others stretching out. They couldn't back to sleep because of me. Dang, always waking people up. Mm. I went to the bathroom to relieve myself. Certain that I wouldn't be able to sleep. Be alive in the night, jeez. When I came back, almost everyone was up. They all looked grumpy. It was no wonder after a rough night. I'd be grumpy too if you like kind of woke me up, jeez. Much. Plus, it was obvious that our hope of being rescued during the night was shattered. Yeah, kind of, yeah. I mean. What's the rescue team doing? Oh gosh. Party dude. Yeah. What's the rescue team? You're fudge. I can't get his voice right. What's, what's the rescue? <clears throat> what's the rescue team doing? They should have been here a long time ago. Gosh. Can't even remember stupid voice. <laughs> Who knows? I'll fudge. Who knows? Maybe we're not important to them. Or maybe something else happened on the surface while we're down here. Another, another that's where that's keeping them busy. Oh, wait. I would love to be able to drink coffee right now. <clears throat> Too bad there's no dispenser near the bathroom. I'm sure it wouldn't have been worth it anyway. How unlucky for us. How unlucky indeed. Yep, because this is the end of the video. Yay! Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. This one is way longer than I thought it would be. I got so into the story. Woo! Okay, like, comment, share, do whatever you feel like. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Love you guys. And bye bye.